Hello, hello ladies. The last couple of days I was on college tours with my son who's 17 and it was uh, women that attended the university that gave us the tours and one was a complete firecracker. She laughed and joked. We left so informed of the school. We were so excited to get started. The second one knew the school but kept explaining it as okay. It's okay. She whipped us through the school. We didn't really get to spend a lot of time. The questions that she answered were very, very short. It's like she had to be somewhere else. So we left that college with very little interest in the university. And the third one loved her school. She said hello to friends along the tour. She answered all the questions. She was very involved with the school. We wanted to be a part of it by the time we left. So there were others, but those are the few that I noticed and the confidence that they had in themselves, the knowledge of the school and how they interacted us with us really made a difference. So how are you interacting with the people around you? Hello Inspire Ladies, I'm Claire Hughes, an empowerment coach for women who are ready to break through their fears, change their mindset, set and meet goals, and build their confidence to live as their truest self. If you see me before, say hello in the chat and if you're watching, Give me a hashtag replay and let me know who you are and where you're from. So today, we're going to talk about the 10 habits of a confident woman. To start a success, to start um, successful and confident women, um, don't gossip. Don't do it. They don't have time for it. And it steals from their reputation. It looks bad for them and it looks bad for those around them. So I wouldn't trust the information that you get when it's being spread around as gossip and it's not a trait of a confident woman even if you're the ones that's not spreading the gossip and you're there you're just in you know it just looks bad for you just because you're associated with it so either ask them to stop gossiping by saying you don't feel comfortable talking about it or just walk away and when you do hear gossip from somebody don't judge the person that they're gossiping about based on what you're you're hearing because it could be true and it could not be true we don't know we aren't there the person isn't there to defend themselves confident women also learn to speak their mind and stand behind what they've said find a woman that you admire and you would love to mimic and notice how she stands and speaks and carries herself they speak their mind but they do it in a way where people don't mind hearing it this is a true skill it's not something that she's born with but she's mastered it throughout the years through practice so many of us have great ideas we could move up in the corporate world but we just aren't able to speak up and voice our thoughts um, and back up what we say um, so we end up staying in the same place in life so it's really important that you start to master if you haven't already um, speaking your mind not only does a confident woman speak up but they are amazing listeners we can learn so much more when we sit back and we, we listen and we learn um, about others how they think how they feel what their ideas are and we learn so much more about listening um, when we're listening than we do when we're speaking so it's it's a fact that our mind starts to wander roughly 50% of the time we're listening. Hey, Sherry. Um, and so be mindful of how much you pay attention and learn to seek help. When self esteem and confidence are low, it's difficult seeking help because we fear judgment, we fear rejection, and we need to make our needs known and share our thoughts and feelings and opinions and dreams. So just because um, you're a little shy doesn't mean that you're, you can't speak up and ask for help. It doesn't mean you're weak, it doesn't mean you're rude, pushy, or needy. You just need to ask for guidance um, from someone who understands. So for me this was a tough one because I was an introvert and still am in a bit. And uh, I had to push myself to ask questions about starting a business and I had to put myself out there and market myself and let people know I was here. And to do that, I needed to ask others how they went about it, what did they do, um, how they did it. 
and no one likes to admit that they don't know what they're doing, but I had to ask, and I had to have higher help, get a mentor, or I would be in the exact same place as I was last week, last month, and last year, and that's not a place that I want to remain. So learn to ask for help when you need it. I had to always keep learning. It's another habit of a confident woman to always learn more about yourself, your habits, your personality, how you learn, what you want to learn, and challenge yourself to learn something new each day. Watch YouTube, take a course, meet people, um, find out what they're doing, and see if it's something that you want to do, but always take in new information. Growth happens through knowledge. And Another um, aspect of confident women is to be happy for others. Don't sit in jealousy or judgment. Be happy for others who kick butt and made things happen. Ask how they did it. Celebrate it with them. Women are the worst when it comes to this. And I don't know why, but they can't seem to be happy for another woman who's changing themselves, their life, and the things they're going through. It's they, it's their turn, they've worked really hard for it, and it would be great if other women could come in on board and celebrate and be happy for them. Another aspect is to learn from your failures. Ask um, those celebrating how they did it. Don't beat yourself up when things don't go that way, the way you want them to, when it comes challenging, when it's messy and you fail because you will, bump into the messy and fail at some point there's no perfect so when these things happen instead of focusing on what went wrong focus on how you could do it better next time ask better questions about what went wrong and another aspect for confident women is to exercise it's so important to um, to keep your body fit your energy raised your organs will work harder your body is stronger, it raises confidence um, in so many ways. You look better, you feel better, it lowers the chances of disease and health problems, it releases proteins and chemicals um, for better brain function, your muscles get stronger, thereby keeping your bones strong. There's no real downside to bringing exercise into your life. And I know there are some that have every excuse in the book, but that's all they are, is just excuses. And confident women, always get some kind of some form of exercise in every day and so also another aspect for confident women is to set and reach goals I love this part <laughs> how can you get where you're going if you don't know where it is that you need to go how can you measure your progress if you don't have anything set to achieve setting goals and reaching goals is something a confident woman does every day so establish and work towards achieving goals that can bring your life to where you want it to be, the life that you dream of. It gives you a sense of self-sufficiency, and that is described as the belief that you have in your own ability, specifically our ability to meet challenges ahead of us and complete tasks successfully. So it's important to believe in ourself and our ability to succeed. Do you believe you can succeed in anything? Anybody? On a scale one to 10, where do you stand on this? Do you believe you can succeed when you put your mind to it? Let me know in the comments below. My last one today is that you're true to yourself. Don't let the media um, tell you who you should be. Don't let other outside influences tell you who you should be. A confident woman is always themselves. They're genuine and they don't worry about fitting in. They enjoy life. They're always aware of their thoughts and keeping them positive because you are what you think. Um, she doesn't let outside influences alter who she is, like I mentioned, because she knows who she is and that's the end of the story. They don't let the media decide who they are. They don't let their friends decide. They don't try to fit in. You can either be with them or not. It's up, I mean, that's how they are. They're confident in who they are and they don't need any outside influences telling them otherwise. So I'm here today as your empowerment coach to help you change how you see yourself and help you make the best of this life. Don't waste another day living with low self-confidence and low self-esteem. Own who you are and create an amazing life. It's time to invest in yourself and recognize what's holding you back and do the work to get to where you wanna be and who you wanna become. 
you've got this. So make take massive action to change your life. Life is too short to not love who you are. And if you're ready to change your life, invest in yourself and build an incredible life, message me. I'd love to hear from you. Let's get started. Thanks for joining me tonight. And I look forward to speaking with you. Have an incredible day. Take care.